In this video, you'll learn how to recognize what transformations of function graphs will occur from different parameter changes of function equations. Changing a function equation will change the graph of the function. Certain changes to the equation will result in translations, reflections, and stretches. f of x plus k will result in a vertical translation of f of x. Each point on the graph of f of x will shift vertically k units. When k is positive, the graph will shift upward, and when k is negative, the graph will shift downward. f of the quantity x plus k will result in a horizontal translation of f of x. Each point on the graph of f of x will shift horizontally negative k units. This means when k is positive, the graph will shift to the left, and when k is negative, the graph will shift to the right. Notice the difference between these two transformations. If the k value is added to the function value, it is a vertical shift. If the k value is added to x inside the parentheses, it is a horizontal shift. k times f of x will result in a vertical stretch or compression of f of x. When k is negative, it also results in a reflection over the x-axis. The graph is stretched so that each point is k times as far from the x-axis as its corresponding point in f of x. When the absolute value of k is between 0 and 1, it is a vertical compression, and when the absolute value of k is greater than 1, it is a vertical stretch. f of the quantity k times x will result in a horizontal stretch or compression of f of x. When k is negative, it also results in a reflection over the y-axis. The graph is stretched so that each point is 1 over k times as far from the y-axis as its corresponding point in f of x. When the absolute value of k is between 0 and 1, it is a horizontal stretch, and when the absolute value of k is greater than 1, it is a horizontal compression. Notice the difference between these two transformations. If the k value is multiplied by the function value, it is a vertical stretch or compression. If the k value is multiplied by the x inside the parentheses, it is a horizontal stretch or compression. Let's look at some examples. Describe the transformation that each of the following represent. The function f of x equals 3x minus 2 transformed by f of x plus 5. In f of x plus 5, the 5 is being added to the function value, f of x. So, this is a vertical shift. k is positive, so the graph is shifted 5 units upward. The function g of x equals 4x plus 1 transformed by negative 2 times g of x. Negative 2 is multiplied by the function value. This represents a vertical stretch or compression. Since the absolute value of k is 2, which is greater than 1, it is a vertical stretch by a factor of 2. The fact that the k value is negative means the graph is also reflected over the x-axis. So, the transformation negative 2 times g of x is a reflection over the x-axis and a vertical stretch by a factor of 2. The function h of x equals 5 times 2 to the x power transformed by h of the quantity x minus 3. The 3 is subtracted from the x in the parentheses. This represents a horizontal shift. Since k is negative, the shift is 3 units to the right. The function j of x equals negative 8 times 0 0.4 to the x plus 1 power transformed by j of x minus 2. The 2 is subtracted from the function value. The 2 is subtracted from the function value, so this is a vertical shift downward. Let's look at another example. If g of x equals f of the quantity x plus k, what is the value of k? k is added to the x value, 
So, you are looking for a horizontal translation. How far did each point in f of x shift horizontally? Each point shifted 3 units to the left. In a horizontal translation, positive k values shift to the left. So k must be positive 3. g of x is equal to f of the quantity x plus 3. Let's look at one more example. If g of x equals f of x plus k, what is the value of k? k is added to the function value, so you are looking for a vertical translation. How far did each point in the graph shift vertically? Each point shifted two units up. The shift upwards means that k is positive 2. g of x equals f of x plus 2. Now you know more about how to recognize transformations of graphs of functions that result from changes to the parameters in the equations for functions. Thanks for watching.